I'm standing here on the balcony outside the hotel room in Paris, right in the heart of things. We're just a couple blocks away from the famous Eiffel Tower, and I'm starting the journey of expanding my perspective through travel. And the first thing I can say is when we arrived, the airport felt like being in any multiple airports I've been in, and even the drive through crazy traffic. It was like, hmm, am I in Paris? But now, here in the heart of things, the vibe, hearing all the different people speaking and all the languages with their different accents, different skin tones, everything under the sun, styles, uh, socioeconomic levels, it's just a beautiful mishmash. And I'm really excited to expand and delve into what Paris has to offer. I'm joining you today from beautiful Bordeaux. What an experience. It's a sunny blue sky. The weather is perfect. It's about 32, 30. There's a breeze coming off the river. Behind me here, you see this um, Ferris wheel that apparently is in every city in France. Um, but there is some interesting architecture in front. And after my little introduction, my partner here is going to take some video of some of the other attractions in the area. But I guess as far as my uh, theme about expanding your perspective, I could say that I'm discovering a lot of stereotypes are getting broken down and the French people are being very welcoming. So stay tuned, there'll be more to come. ready to share some of my final summary takeaways from my glorious week away in France. So my theme was expanding your perspective through travel and I had some stereotypes that were broken down for me and as I mentioned earlier the first one that really stood out for me was this story I'd been told that the French people would be rude and unwelcoming to me, especially because I didn't speak their language. And in fact, that wasn't my experience at all. I was treated with friendly smiles, with welcoming, pleased that I was in their country, happy that things were open again, delighted to greet me and help me out and assist me whenever they could. Strangers came up when they could see we were puzzled and didn't know which way to go making train connections and whatnot, looking for taxis. And they just came up and helped when they spoke English and when they didn't use body language. So it was wonderful to see that maybe that's changing or as one person suggested, maybe I got back what I put in. So interesting to think about. Some things about Paris and also in Bordeaux surprised me. Um, and some things were exactly as I expected. So the Eiffel Tower, you know, I've seen the representation. I knew what to expect and, and it was that. Uh, Notre Dame actually was a difficult experience because of the fire and that was something that I hadn't really thought about as much. 
uh, seeing people sunbathing along the river Sim, that was a surprise. Um, but all the museums on every corner, the bakeries, the parks, I expected that part of Paris and Bordeaux and I wasn't disappointed at all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, France was never on a vision board as a place I needed to see, but it exceeded even my lack of expectation. I just felt so comfortable. I felt like I resonated with their perspective, which felt to me very present and very accepting of life as it is. Not rushing from this to that, but just being in the moment and enjoying conversation and food and wine and chaos. And when the taxi driver was stuck in the middle of a confused corner, there was no yelling. He just accepted that this is life and what to do and he drove in a peaceful style so that was a really lovely experience the district of rue royale was the location of our last airbnb and mr commented that it felt a little bit like bloor street in toronto because it had all the big fashion houses and just luxury everywhere you could look and i thought i might feel a little bit like a hick because I wasn't dressed in the latest fashion and certainly didn't have that chic look that a lot of Parisians did have. But in fact, I didn't. I felt completely free to be me and really in my happy place the entire time, whether it was Bordeaux, walking along the river, or right in the heart of busy Paris. Um, I just felt joyful. And some of it was probably my state of mind being with my son and his girlfriend and with her family and enjoying all of that connection. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed my time there. Uh, when we were riding, in fact, from Paris to Bordeaux, I had expected that it was going to be this lush, picturesque scene with forests and clear blue rivers. And in fact, it reminded me a little more of car rides through the prairies um, with villages and farmland and wasn't quite as exciting as I thought but beautiful in its own way. So yeah, all in all, I had a really blissful engagement and I will remember my trip to France, my one week, for many years to come and in this moment I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity I had to go and experience it. So I hope that you get an opportunity at some point in your life to travel there. Um, and if not, trust that life will bring you the experiences that you need. Thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you again. Those are available online at Amazon, Chapters Indigo, or at Barnes & Noble. Or you can head on over to my website, www www.lindafeshmidt.com. Click on My Books in the menu bar and all the buttons are right there.